Octung auction goers, it's me, your boy Luke, back with another auction, a little preview of this weekend, this Sunday sale. With me as always is my main lady Cassie. Say hi, Cassie. Cassie, of course, sporting her own little bit of military. Uh, if you've ever seen one of these before, you have a vague idea what's about to go down. Cassie's going to show you around the floor a little bit, and I'm going to run through some of the vehicles. And we got, like, a full giganto list this week, so just prepare yourself. They're going to be scrolling down below. But just in case you're not entirely certain what you're looking at, you're looking at a 1999 Pontiac Grand Prix, a 2006 Nissan Murano, a 2010 Ford F-150 Lariat, a 2004 Toyota Sienna, a 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan, a 2006 Mitsubishi Eclipse, a 1990 Mercury Cougar, and if that wasn't enough, we also have a 14-foot utility trailer, an entire mobile home, and a really, really snazzy scissor lift. So, like, I mean, the amount of wheels that we've managed to pack into one sale is just bonkers. We even got a BMX in, if you want to count that. Like, it's, it's, it's just, like, one of the more packed weeks, as you might be able to tell by my, my apparel, and Cassie's apparel for that matter. Boy, they really had smaller heads back in the day. Either that or I'm some kind of freak. Um, <laughs> I don't take notes. Um, yeah, but we got all kinds of house, like, furnishings and stuff for your apartment. And, like, but even stuff for your patio in this weekend. Like, there's all this mahogany French provincial dressers and cabinets and hutches. I've recently become reacquainted with that word, hutches. But we also have more modern stuff in, too. There's all kinds of sofa sets, there's leatherette and fabric, there's kitchen tables, there's outdoor glass tables, bed frames, there's nightstands, and, I mean, just, like, appliances, too, for that matter. There's stoves and there's fridges and all kinds of Whirlpool and G, and not just, like, the big stuff, too. I'm talking, like, the smaller stuff you can fit into, like, like a place like where I live. <laughs> Like air fryers, there's coffee makers, there's mixers. Heck, there's like, not particularly like related to those, but we have like a 3D printer in, like one of those big 3D resin printers in this week. It's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with that because I really want to know what the heck people are gonna make with it. Cassie's showing you around the floor a little bit. We also have, if you hadn't, I mean, this is sort of the, a bit of a hint. But I mean, we have all kinds of antiques in this week as well, actually. We have antique sewing machines. There's this really neat, like, RCA turntable cabinet that is also a BMX, yes. That it comes with all these like records and yeah, no, it's 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 really hard to pin down like solid categories this week because it's just really just all over the map. In front of the showcases in front of me, I mean, we have of course the, you know, vintage military and all kinds of caps and helmets and canteens and I mean, there's even one full of hood ornaments. There's another full of uh Facebook hates when I say this kind of stuff, so if you're watching this, and, uh, <clears throat> those, those things. Is that, is that a good enough hint? I feel like that infers, you can infer the rest of it from there, yeah, surely. <laughs> the old, uh, yeah, no, that bike's really cool, though. It's a Mongoose BMX. I mean, and, and right beside that, there's a crossbow. I mean, there, there's exercise equipment to crossbows to BMXs to furniture. There's all kinds of stuff going on this week. You really got to take a look at the email that's going out, like, pretty quick here, because it's, it's just packed with all kinds of stuff. Instruments, I didn't even know there was such a thing as an electric violin. Guess who learned that today? But, uh... One thing we have, not only in this sale, but also this Saturday, is tools. That's right, we have a tool sale this Saturday, this March the 19th, first thing in the morning. So if you're looking for any kind of hand tools or power tools or you know, sockets and drill bits and what have you, well, this Saturday is a good opportunity to get in on it if you can't find anything you like in this Sunday sale, because we are just, like, packed with tools. There's an entire garage just overflowing with a hardware store that closed down. So if you got yourself a business if you're a carpenter or if you're just one of those guys who saws the leg off a chair and then he has to saw the other leg and eventually he's just got a new stool well this is a good weekend to get in on it also going on not this weekend but the following weekend we have a restaurant sale on sunday the 27th uh, a comic sale on saturday april the 2nd i mean like we're basically checking every box within the next two weeks so if you're looking for anything you got any kind of anniversaries you got a gift or you just want to get something for yourself well it's a it's a pretty good time to get in on it. Sun's shining, everything's nice out. Oh, I've missed it. I've missed it so bad. Anyway, that'll about do it for Cassie and me. Cassie, you wanna, I don't know, you wanna wave? Guten 
dog? I'm not sure. See you guys. <laughs>